the very beginning of my orthodontic treatment, I got a lot of attachment on my braces. So one of them are the coil springs. What are the coil springs and what are they for and uh, how they can help in my orthodontic treatment? So stuck with me. My gorgeous friends, it's Carmen here. I'm a flight attendant that finally at 41 years old I decided to put and to, uh, to put the braces and to start my orthodontic treatment. And there is a lot of appliances in my mouth. One of them are the coil springs. And so what are the coil springs? Are a special type of metal springs that are used to uh, close the space or to, to close the gaps or to open the space between two teeth or between more than two teeth. Uh, I'm gonna show you because if you don't know uh, what I'm speaking about, it's a bit difficult. So it is this. This right here, this here, and it's the spring. If you, uh, for someone that doesn't know how uh, what the springs are, are the special, uh, you know, arch. In my language, it's arch, but <laughs> it's not in your language the same. So there is three types of this coil springs to open, uh, springs to open, springs to close, and also the passive springs. In your case, in my case, I have to uh, open the space, no, because I have crooked teeth. They are putting together. They are too much press one to another. And uh, those uh, springs are uh, metal springs are always uh, with two ends, so are going to a tooth uh, to another, and they are always in the same jaw. <laughs> so you're not gonna find the coil springs that are closing gaps from up to down like are doing the elastics. And about elastics I did another uh, video uh, that I'm gonna uh, leave you the link here. So for how long I need to wear those uh, uh, coil springs, I think that uh, because of the fact that uh, the coil springs are opening or closing the gaps uh, between teeth uh, in uh, one millimeter more or less per mount, uh, I'm gonna wear these coil springs for two to eight mounts, that is the maximum usually for normal people <laughs> and uh, normal people i i mean uh, young young people uh, these coil springs are where from two to uh, four months this is the average so i don't know in my case uh, my doctor said that depends on the individual state of the bone some bones are more uh, reliable to move the teeth more rapidly and some bones no. So in my case, I don't really know. In this moment, I have the, um, my appliances and I have my uh, braces. In my case, I have the braces from uh, 9 of March. So it's like uh, three weeks. I don't see any difference because if you want to know, I don't see any difference, but you know, because I see my teeth every day and I took a picture every day, uh, I cannot understand if they're moving or not. So there is no visible movement in my mouth. And because I put the braces in adult age, so at 41 years old, uh, the, there will be a delay in moving teeth, like I said before. I know that uh, for having a very good results after uh, one month, after two, or maybe after eight months with coil springs, you need to have a good maintenance of them. So you need to uh, brush your teeth, you need to uh, flossing your teeth every, every time, and you need to also avoid sticky food. So <laughs> bye bye my, uh, my chocolate lind. I don't want to make any advertise, but I'm completely addicted to lean. <laughs> and uh, you need to avoid this uh, hard food also. Uh, and in another video, I'm going to explain you what I'm eating and what I ate before, because it's completely mind-blowing mind what uh, you need to eat when you have braces and you, uh, you have so many appliances in your mouth. And I'm going to speak about also in another video about another appliances that I have in my mouth that are the Turbo Bites. If you don't know what are they, so subscribe to this channel and you will see. <laughs> so before getting braces, 
you should have been remove every cavity you should have removed uh, every issue that uh, is impeding and is influencing for the duration of the treatment uh, and then uh, can be you should maybe do the canal treatment you should uh, uh, see if you have only ev something like parodontis i think that is called like this i don't uh, i don't remember very well so the parodontis is the recession uh, recession of the gum no because uh, there is too too much plaque on your teeth because of the poor hygiene and uh, you should uh, resolve all these problems because before putting braces the uh, teeth are uh, about to move every every time and uh, all day long <laughs> even if it's like a micron of uh, millimeters so you need to have a good state of uh, a good uh, health of your gum so guys if you have any question please put a comment down below and if you like this channel put a subscribe and see you in the next video.